Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon XG Next Gen. I have decided to turn the music up a tad bit more, because it sounded alright to me in the videos for the past couple of ones, but then I thought, you know what, it could probably be a little bit louder. So hopefully it isn't too loud now. If it is, let me know. But I think it should be fun. If anything, it could probably even go a little bit higher, because I only tweaked it a very tiny amount, and I didn't even bother checking it in the recording to see if it'd be good or not. Because it was so little of a change, I thought there's no way it could be overpowering me. Anyways, that aside, today, we need to go back out and catch four more Pokemon from the Cypher Rangers, whatever they're called, and yada yada. There was something I wanted to point out before this continued, and that is giving me nicknames for Pokemon. You're welcome to leave whatever comments you want on the videos, obviously, as long as they're not, like, incredibly rude to other people and whatnot, because those I will remove. But if you want to leave nickname suggestions and all that, just to put it in my head and other people's heads, that's fine. But I just want to make sure you understand that the time that you need to give me a Pokemon nickname suggestion is when I ask for it. Because, like, someone left a comment that gave a nickname for Mudkip and Bagon, and I can't even remember them right now. I think I think the Bagon nickname suggestion was, like, Tiamat, which is, like, a dragon from Babylonian mythology or something like that, and I actually really like the name. But I won't want that nickname until I'm closer to being able to use it, so when Bagon is closer to being purified... Eventually, when it's close to being purified, I'll ask, like, hey, guys, in the comments, tell me what you want the thing's nickname to be, because we're going to purify it soon. That's when you need to leave me that comment. You can leave that comment on every video if you want, but when I'm looking for the nickname, I'm not going to go back three or four videos prior and look at all the comments to see if someone left me a Bagon nickname back then. I'm going to look at the comments on the video that I asked, hey, give me a Bagon nickname. So, it's cool if you leave comments for nicknames early, but just make sure that you leave it again when I ask for the nickname. Because if it's not on the video that I ask it for, I'm very unlikely to remember it or take it into consideration. So you need to make sure that you uh, don't leave a comment on one video, like when I first catch the Pokemon, and think, cool, now we'll take that into consideration. And then be surprised when it comes later, I nickname it, and I don't even mention your nickname because I've just forgotten it. So, I just wanted to make sure that that was clear. I didn't want anyone to leave, like, really cool nickname ideas, and but they leave it on the wrong video, and then their nickname doesn't even get considered when I probably would have used it. Anyways, all of that aside, nice little intro from Chaos. We have already taken care of Water Guy and Poison Guy, who is now Dragon Guy. Let's take on Grass Guy, because I think Saix and uh, Grass normally are also half poison, so Saix and Nagisa should be a good combo for it, and see what we can get. We six brothers are bound by our brotherly love sixfold. Our solidarity is sixfold, and our food bill is sixfold too. Come on, kid, I'll take you with my sixfold power. Bring it on. Cypher P on green. Are you actually still grass? Oh, yeah, see Dot and Trico, those are grass types. Please. It, it, it's gotta be. There's no way this man just sent out a Trico and a C Dot, and then it's Shadow C Dot. Surely not. It's gotta be Shadow Trico. Give me this. Give it to me. I deserve it. I deserve it. My boy Shadow Trico. This more than likely means that the fire guy has Shadow Torchic. Which is okay, but I don't know. I'm not a huge Torchic fan. I don't think Torchic is bad by any means at all. But I'm not a huge fan of it. Shadow Whip? That sounds like... Whoa! Shadow Whip is sick! Is that like the Frenzy Plant animation? Dude, that is awesome! I've never seen that animation before in my life. That was fantastic. I love it. Nice and critical hit. I lived! That's why I iron-headed it, but I was hoping it would die and then I could get some iron-head damage on Trico. Uh, what is with all these critical hits? Alright, well, it doesn't really matter if Sax goes down now, because we're not going to get experience from Trico anyways, because I'm going to catch it, and this gen doesn't have experience when catching Pokemon like future gens do. Fairy Wind is low power. And then hold back. Sex will go second if he doesn't die to Shadow Whip here. Shadow Whip looks so sick. I love it. Yep, Sex is down. Unfort. That's fine. Because now I just bring in... Oh my goodness, that did nothing. I should have gone with Psybeam. I did not expect Trico to take the hit that well. Get in there, Koji. I need you to Thunder Wave this thing. The sooner we catch it, the better. Uh, I'm still worried about, like, getting a critical Psybeam, so I'm gonna Headbutt and see if that does any better, even though, you know, Headbutt, you wouldn't expect to do much. 
Wait, what? Tri Trico has lightning rod? Why? They gave it Mega Sceptile's ability! No! And then Nagisa got Oko'd. Never once did it enter my thought process that this thing would have freaking Mega Sceptile's lightning rod as its ability. That's so broken. Uh, what does Shadow Tease do? I don't even remember. I'm just gonna use Bagon's turn to throw a Pokeball. This Trico has Lightning Rod! That's sick! Don't Shockwave. It should live a Hyper Voice, I'm pretty certain. After it took that Fairy Wind so well. I can't believe this thing. I was also told that Lightning Rod will raise my special attack. There's just not an animation for it, so it doesn't say it. Ah, oh, we caught it. No problem. I think any Pokemon that's level 20 or lower is a guaranteed catch in XD. I can't remember if I ever learned if that was true or not. That was just a theory I had back in the day. I feel crushing defeat sixfold. Indeed you do. This Trico has lightning rod. I'm so mad. This is nothing. Our brotherly love is nothing like this. Uh, Trico, my dude. How's it going? Lightning rod. Yep. Draws electrical moves. Shadow whip. 60 damage, 90 accuracy. That's, that's good. I like it. I like it a lot. So fast. His special attack is so high. Goes really well with, uh, with lightning rod. You just have Shadow Rush. That's old school right there. Torments both foes. Stops using... Ah, yeah. It stops status moves. Right. I remember now. All right. Well, we definitely need to heal. So, rather I'll use Mudkip or not is still up in the air. I don't want to say I'm not one of those people who just uses starters because they're starters. Because I sort of am at times, but then other times I'm not. I'm wishy-washy on the whole using starters thing. Trico is, like, guaranteed in the party for the rest of the game. Like, uh, not in the party consistently, because I said I'd do, like, a team of 12 and switch them around because I can easily level grind and mount battle. But uh, Trico will definitely be one of the Pokemon I use. One of our grass types, if not our only one. If anything, we'll have two grass types max. But, uh, yeah, I will absolutely use Trico, especially when he has Lightning Rod. Let's try to deal with Electric Boy next. We might not look it, but we are busy. But do you want to play anyway? Yeah, dude, let's go. Well, then, this is what I'll do. I wonder what electric type you have. Is it still Mareep or is it changed? Most of them have changed so far, but some of them haven't. Is it freaking Pikachu? It's gotta be Pikachu, because there's a Shadow Manetric late game, unless they change Shadow Manetric to something else late game. Or put in Shadow Electric and Shadow Manetric, which would be weird. And kind of pointless. It is Shadow Electric. Thank goodness it's not Pikachu. Uh, so yeah, Manetric is like one of my favorite electric types in the game. A lot of my favorite Pokemon come from Gen 3. Very highly in part because Gen 3 was my first Gen. Shadow Pulse sounds awesome. Yeah, it looks pretty sick. It looks like Shadow Wave. Does it hit both? No, it doesn't. Nuzzle is in the game. That's scary. Easy chew. Yeah, like Breloom... Breloom, uh, what else? Trico is one of my favorite Pokemon. Breloom is, like, my favorite Pokemon, period. It is my number one. Nice crit. Uh, Electric is really up there in my favorite Pokemon. Why did I use Hold Back when you're at, like, full HP? There is no way that a Zen Headbutt was gonna kill you. You know what? Honestly, I don't want Nagisa to go down, and I expect you to use Electric Move, so I'm gonna have Koji come in and Lightning Rod it. And then, uh, I'll kill you with Zen Headbutt. Hopefully I do not miss. I want Nagisa to get the experience from the Pikachu, even if it's just a little bit. Every bit of experience helps. What do you think the odds are that this Electric's ability is Lightning Rod? I think Lightning Rod is one of its base abilities. I can't remember. Wouldn't Lightning Rod pull in even your own side of the field? No, he's using Shadow. No, when the Pikachu used Nuzzle, wouldn't that have pulled it in? Even if it's your partner Pokemon that has Lightning Rod? I don't remember if Lightning Rod works that way or not. I'm gonna assume no. Ah, well, you know, may as well try and Thunder Wave. And then Iron Head, I'm pretty sure Electric resists Steel, so this shouldn't do too much. Yeah, it's Lightning Rod. I'm just gonna have three Lightning Rod Pokemon on my team, if that's okay with all of you. If I would known that there was a Shadow Electric this soon in the game, I would have been a lot more adamant about, hey, I'm going to use Flareon instead of Jolteon. 
because I love Electrike. I will use an elect or an Electrike. I obviously that as well, but I will use Manetric plus Jolteon. Don't think that I won't. I love Manetric. Get in there, Electrike. Go where you belong. Stay there. No! Oh, it's level 21. It's not guaranteed. Don't do too much damage, please. Don't kill my Electrike. Okay, good. No, not the Shadow Pulse. It's too strong. It's been doing so much damage. The humanity. This Electrike is single-handedly destroying my entire team. Uh, the Bagon? It doesn't really matter, I don't think. I'm a little worried that either of my shadow attacks will actually kill you from here, so I'm going to shadow tease and then hope that now that you're in yellow, you'll stay in the Pokeball. It makes sense that this hack is putting a lot of really good Pokemon in early game, because obviously that's what people would want from a hack, is like, hey, just put in, like, all of the awesome Pokemon early game. But at the same time, curse this game for putting so many awesome Pokemon, how am I supposed to choose? An electric type is actually something we'd want to have at all times, so having two electric types is fine, because we'll always, we'll just have one in the party at all times, and one in the PC at all times, and we'll switch them back and forth. I hate brats. But this does mean I'm probably not going to, I'm definitely not getting any other electric types. We try to look busy, but actually we have nothing to do. It's not like we need to worry about enemies in this desert. But uh, yeah, I will absolutely just like switch Electrike and Jolteon back and forth for the rest of this playthrough. Also, doesn't uh, Manet what is uh, what level does Electrike evolve at? Is it 24 or 26? I can never remember which it is. It might even no, it's not 23. Shroomish is 23. I think Electrike is 24, but then part of me is like, no, you always think 24, but it's actually 26. I don't remember. I don't remember. All right, well, I mean. Who's left? Ground and fire, right? So I don't want to have... Even though I need Sags to get two more levels, I don't want him up front. Fighting ground guy is going to be the worst, so let's do fire next. It's probably Torchic. That look on your face, it says you're not about to listen and go home obediently. All right, then. I'll play with you for to while away the time if you want. Let's go. All right, bring it on. Cypher Peon Red. You're not the real Red. Yep, Torchic and Growlithe. Dude, I would actually be ecstatic to have an Arcanine in this playthrough. Look at how cute Growlithe is. I think that Growlithe is a shadow Pokemon normally in the game, now that I think about it. I just don't remember where you normally catch it at. So it might still be a shadow Pokemon option. I just don't know where it's at. It is Shadow Torchic. What a shock. Yo, I'm going to test the theory. This doesn't prove it if it does work, but it'll disprove it if it doesn't work. I'm just going to throw a Pokeball at Torchic and see what happens. I should have Hyper Voiced, actually. If the Torchic lives, I'll get some more damage on it. And by lives, I mean ignores the Pokeball. Let's see if this works or not. Alright, so that doesn't necessarily prove my theory that all Pokemon level 20 and lower are auto-catches. But it definitely does not disprove my theory. It gives it more support, if anything. Look at that beautiful damage. Growlithe is such a good boy. Look at how adorable he is. Ember! Koji, no! Easy chill. I love Jolteon's animations. All right, get this fool out of here. I forgot they put the little snag thing at the top left to let you know, like, hey, you caught a Pokemon. Don't lose this fight or else you can't keep it. There we go. Sorry I had to do it to you, Growlithe. You know I had to do it to him. All right, next up is Ground Guy, and that's going to be the not fun part. I wonder what Pokemon he has. What the? You're not supposed to be tough. I doubt it's Ball Toy, because it's normally Ball Toy, but all of the others have different ones from what they're supposed to have. I guess it helped to while away some time. So I can only imagine it's a different one. I'm going to need to lead with one of the Shadow Pokemon. Probably Trico is my best bet. And then I'll keep leading Nagisa, because I really want to get Curly already. All right, let's go. Last one. Didn't I tell you to go home? All right, Cypher P on Brown. You got the short end of the stick in colors and names. Sandshrew and Fanfy. Fanfy, please. Please. Thonfan is also one of my favorite Pokemon, who thankfully is not uh, third gen, he's second gen. So, I'm clearly not just a third gen fanboy. I love Thonfan. Give it to me. Give it to me, game. Do it. Do it. The game has done it. 
It's the actual dream. No, it's level 21. <laughs> I can't easy catch it. It'll live a side beat. You know, I'm not risking it. I'm fairy winding it. <laughs> Shadow whip the Shand True and get it out of here. Did I say Shand True? Sand True. I can use words. I promise. Easy knockout. Yo, Shadow Trico is actually broken. Please nerf. Beautiful 178 experience. Shadow Rush is about what I expected for Fanfi to have. I think I I either like or love every single... It's got to be able to take a side beam after that. I will go ahead and throw a Pokeball and see how it goes. But uh, it's like... I, I like or love every single Shadow Pokemon that the six have. Fanfi is amazing. Trico is amazing. Bagon is amazing. Uh, what else? What else do they have? Torchic is pretty good. Mudkip is pretty good. What was the other one? I love Electrike. Yeah, it's just amazing. Also, we caught it. Awesome. Oh, I love Fanfi. Fanfi, Fanfi. I used to always call it Fanfi, and then people told me it's actually pronounced Fanfi. Like, a ton of people told me that, and I forced myself to pronounce it that way because I actually like the sound of Fanfi. And then a bunch of people were like, yeah, the people who thought that for like two years are actually idiots. It really is Fampy. But whatever. Now you've done it. Indeed I have. Oh my goodness. They've given me so many good Pokemon. Isn't that enough already? Go play somewhere else. I am actually just loaded on third gen goodness. We've got Trico. We've got Electrike. We've got Ralts. We've got uh, Fampy as gen 2. I just went on a <laughs> rants about that. Beldum, we got Beldum, we got Bagon, we have two pseudo legends already. It's actually insane. I'm gonna put Fanfi in, in place of Mudkip for now. We will eventually also purify Mudkip, and I'll leave Electrike in the PC for now, and obviously I'm gonna leave Torchic in the PC. And we're gonna roll with this setup for now. Probably wouldn't be bad to take out one of the psychic types for Torchic to have a fire type. And we might do that after a while, but for now, until I get Matang and Curly, I'm going to stick with both of them. I think it would be good later on to kind of like, the same idea I have where I want to like, constantly switch out Manetric and Jolteon throughout the playthrough. Probably switching Gardevoir and Metagross back and forth would also be a good idea. I'll probably end up getting another, maybe not another Fairy, but I'll probably end up getting another Steel type at some point. I'm trying to think of what good Steel types would be in the game. Uh, is, is Skarmory a shadow Pokemon in this game? I know it's, like, one of the last three shadow Pokemon, or one of the last... Yeah, it's one of the last three shadow Pokemon in, uh, of the main game, at least. Like, the last three shadow Pokemon is, like, Togetic and Shuckle or something stupid in Coliseum. But in Coliseum, like, the last three bosses, Gonzap, Nascor, and then, uh, Escade, Escod, however you say his name. Thank you for healing me. I didn't... Why did I do this? <laughs> I left the Pokemon lab to go buy more Pokeballs because obviously we have a lot more Shadow Pokemon to catch. But my mind was like, just go to the first thing you click to, which happened to be Mount Battle. And then why would I be at Mount Battle? There's nothing to buy here. I must have come here to heal, which is not why I went there. I wonder what Lovrina is going to have instead of a Delcaddy, or if she'll still just have Delcaddy. They haven't changed all of them because Ladybug and... Oh, no, no, no. Ladybug was changed to a Talo, but Puccino was still there like normal. So not all of them are changed, just most of them. Wish I could get Great Balls already. Go ahead and give me 10 more. We'll probably need even, and we also got a Premier Ball, which was good. We'll probably need even more than that, but we never know, so we're just going to roll with this amount for now, and we can buy more if needed. How long have I been going? About 20 minutes. It took about 5 minutes of fight there. A little less than that. Uh, we have enough time to make a little bit of progress into the Cypher Lab. We're definitely not going to finish it today. I imagine it will actually probably take two more sessions. And by two more sessions, I mean two more videos. Possibly even three. Can I go in here? Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Item box. TMO3. What is... What is TMO3 normally? TMO2 is normally Dragon Claw. TMO1 is Focus Punch in Gen 3, but I think it changes to something else. I can't remember. I don't remember what TMO3 normally is. It's U-Turn in this game. Can any of you learn U-Turn? I bet that Trico will be able to after he's purified. You can... What? Jolteon is not able to learn U-Turn normally. This is not a... No. Absolutely not. I would have seen... I played competitive Pokemon for a while, and I didn't dabble in RU much, which I think is what 
uh, Jolteon is normally in is RU. It's definitely not an Inu. I would have seen it all all over the place in Inu, I think. Or maybe it's even worse than I realized. No, it's gotta be it. It's gotta be RU. I don't know what it is now. I haven't played competitive in ages. Jolteon, Smogon, can you learn U-Turn? Or did the hack designer decide that you needed it for some reason? Cannot learn U-Turn. The, the hack creator made it where he could learn U-Turn for some reason. Is there a move I want to get rid of for U-Turn? Volt Switches. If they put in the the way U-Turn works in this game, then that means the Volt Switch has to be in this game. I'm going to be real with you. I don't think I want it. To be completely honest. I think I'm fine without. I bet that... Can Trico learn U-Turn? Maybe it can't, actually. I know that Grovile can learn Fury Cutter. That's the only reason I think that Trico might be able to learn U-Turn. But I wouldn't be surprised if he couldn't. I don't know. We'll find out later. I don't think there's anyone else I have that would be capable of learning it. I know that Bagon doesn't because I've never seen a Salamence use one, and I'm sure I would have seen a Salamence use a niche U-Turn at one point in my life. I know Dawnfan definitely doesn't. Metagross definitely doesn't. Gardevoir definitely doesn't. Whatever. I am going to lead with you two again because I want both of you to evolve like ASAP. Let's fight this nerd. Hello. Oi, get out. I don't think you have a shadow Pokemon unless the hat creator changed it or I'm remembering wrong. Pikachu and Skitty, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want either of these two, so even if they are shadow, I'm not going to use them. But this is good for my type matchup. Neither of these two are really good against Psychic, so we don't have a worry of being double psychic Ah, one of them is Shadow. Of course. They just had to throw Shadow. Ah! It's, uh, it's the magic level. The magic level being less than 20. Let's see if it works. Will my theory be disproven at long last? I might have even disproven this theory back when I was, like, 14, but I just don't remember it. Let's see what happens. Ah, yep, yeah, there it is. Theory disproven. A shadow Pokemon under level 20 can break. Shadow Bolt sounds sick. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is beautiful. I'm pretty sure I have seen that before. I think Zapdos uses that move. Shadow Zapdos. Please don't hit Nagisa. I hate everything. Why would you treat me like this? Why would you do this to me? Get out of here, Fampy. What's up? How has Fanfi already lost so much Shadow Gosh? Holy cow. Is the same thing... By the way, Lone Wolf looked it up for me and said like, Hey, there's nothing in these patch notes that say the Shadow Pokemon should lose Shadow Gosh way faster. Oh my goodness, this damage. Stop. Why is this Pikachu so strong? I need you to calm down. That's a two-hit KO at least. Please don't hit Sax. I'm not even sure if he can live it at this point. He lived on one. The actual champion. Alright, like, very luckily get it into the red. Not nah, that's yellow. It's good enough. Okay, so this is the way this goes. Shadow Rush will kill the Skitty, for sure. As long as I catch the Pikachu in this Pokeball, then Sax will live on one and get the experience from the Skitty. It's the only way this can work out in my favor. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. No! How did it break out even faster that time? Get out of here. Don't hit my Beldum. That was my Beldum. I needed him to not die. Have I mentioned that I don't like Pikachu? Because I like... I try and hold back from saying I hate Pikachu because that just seems unfair, but... I kind of hate Pikachu. I really wish that I wasn't having to deal with its shenanigans right now. And without Beldum, I really don't even have any way to hit it now. I just have to, like, I don't have hold back or anything. Hey, there's a Duskull there. Hey, buddy, how's it going? I don't, I don't have a good way to hit this thing now, and I can't paralyze it because I bet it has Lightning Rod, so I'm just going to have to Pokeball and hope. I have actually been smiled upon. The game has answered my prayers. It has heard my it has heard my uh, issues and has decided to help me. Thank you, video game, for listening to me. Oh, how helpful you are. It's honestly too easy. It's static. 
Well, wait a minute. If this is updated to, like, Gen 6, then you can't paralyze electric types anyway. It's not possible. So, oh well. Not Nightshade. Oh, the humanity. Since Bagon is paralyzed, I'm going to use him for the Pokeball, and I'm going to Shadow Rush the Duskull again. I think that's what I did the first time anyways, except I had Bagon use Hold Back. But I was thinking of using Bagon to attack the Duskull, but he's parried, so probably best not to. I will not be using Pikachu in this playthrough. 100% guaranteed it's not going to happen. Sorry to tell you. I just do not like Pikachu at all. Raichu is okay. But he's, like, tainted by the fact that he evolves from Pikachu. Fanfi already has 73 HP, by the way. That is insane. I was really worried that I'd get a low roll and this Duskull would live. That's why I wanted to attack with Bagon. Oh, well. Neither of them are at 17 HP, so neither of them are going to die. Yeah, good luck killing Fanfi with Nightshade. It'll take, like, five more turns. If not longer. Shadow Rush! I love the little, like, Band-Aid-looking spot on Fanfi's nose. It's so good. It's actually fantastic. Ah, take that, you Cypher Peon Pearl, apparently. Oh my, I'm not supposed to lose you. Yeah, go cry to Mr. Krabs. See if I care. Fanfi evolves at 25, so we'll be getting Dawn Fan really quickly, which is good because Dawn Fan is great and I love Dawn Fan, but also bad because Fanfi is adorable and I love Fanfi. It's like the... It's the really unfortunate duality of Pokemon. You lose something adorable, but get something awesome. Usually is how it goes, at least. We're not going to get Curlia or Matang in this video, unfortunately. I really want to get them next video, though, if possible. Also, I think we can start doing Mount Battle stuff after we finish this area, if I'm not mistaken. I knew there was someone over here. No running in the hall. I do what I want. I got a hall pass. Not really. My hall pass is the fact that I'm better than you. That's good enough. Dodoo and Talo. Well, if it's a Shadow Pokemon, it's got to be the Dodoo because we've already got Shadow Talo. I really hope the hat creator didn't, like, double up on Shadow Pokemon. Like, I hope that there's not Shadow Manetric later in the game because that'd be really lame. There's, like, no... In my eyes, there's no point in a Pokemon being a Shadow Pokemon if another Pokemon from its evolutionary line is also a Shadow Pokemon. Like, if there's a Shadow Swellow later, and I think there actually is a Shadow Swellow late game, if I'm not mistaken, in the normal game. Like, having Shadow Talo and Shadow Swellow is just a waste of a Shadow Pokemon slot. It should go to something that's not part of the... that hasn't already existed, basically. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm cool with the three starters from Gen 3 having been the Water, Fire, Grass of the Cypher group. But a part of me was really hoping to get Shadow Charmander. And part of me is still really hoping that the hat creator is going to throw out Shadow Charmander somewhere. Which I'm sure if he does, then he's going to throw out like all of the Shadow Starters from Gen 1 and probably Gen 2 as well. I could actually see him skipping the Gen 2 Starters solely because they are available in Pokemon Coliseum, the game before this one. Whereas, in neither Coliseum nor this one can you get Shadow versions of Gen 3 or Gen 1 starters. I'm actually going to be pretty surprised if the Gen 1 starters don't show up somewhere. Like, even if they're just like a late game Shadow Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur. Because that seems like a, to throw in the Gen 3 starters but to ignore the Gen 1 starters, that's just, that's weird. Oh yeah, well I'll just run away. <laughs> By all means, get out of my face. All right, sick. I don't think we can... Oh, we can go through here. In Colosseum, you can't go through here first. It's locked, if I remember correctly. We can kind of move around a bit. We're actually at about 30 minutes. This is the one that's locked in this game. I think we can get one more battle in, like over here, maybe. Do I really want to fight this? Yeah, let's fight this guy. Grumble, XG001's failure is going to send our plans right off the rails. Ah, I wish we'd finish up this research and got out from this dank underground warren. War. Huh? Who are you? Where do you get in from? The front door. Trip! I know a Poketuber named Trip. We didn't talk much, but I knew him. <laughs> Please give me a Shadow Core Fish. I'd rather have a Shadow Krabby, but I'll take a Shadow Core Fish. Do it, game. You won't. You won't. 
They didn't. No. They called my bluff. Definitely want to make sure that the Zubat dies. Especially because that's a ghost type move. Yeah, it hurts a lot. I'm probably going to flinch on that. What a shock. Good thing that I double psychic attacked you. Get out of here, fool. Can't believe they called my bluff on not giving me a Shadow Corefish. How dare they? I don't think I've ever even seen Crawdon in this game. Not that I can remember, at least. False swipe. Oh no, the move that will guarantee to keep me alive. Clamper. Shadow Clamper? Nope. Oh well. Uh, the fact that the Corefish has that move, False Swipe, and we'll probably go for it again, knowing, you know, video game AI, is the reason why I'm going to go for Clamp Pearl first. Plus, I already knew that Corefish was slower than both of these guys. I wasn't sure about Clamp Pearl. I know Clamp Pearl is slow, but you never know in this game. Early game, like, surprising things can outspeed you. It's a lot more up in the air early game. Both level 19. We are definitely getting Matang and Curlia. Curlia, I can say its name. Next time. Yep, use False Swipe. Whoever could have guessed. I lived anyway, so who cares? But if he had crit me, though, would have been in trouble. We will absolutely get Curly and Matang next time, and I will love every second of it. I'm starting to wonder if maybe Zen Headbutt was mistakenly made a 100% accurate move in this game, because I have yet to miss one. Normally, I would have missed, like, at least two by now. Why? What did I do to deserve this? I don't know. You were a nerd. Shouldn't have been such a nerd. This is bad news. I've got to alert Lavrina about the security breach. Okay, goodbye. They don't turn on the alarm in this game, do they? I remember in Coliseum at one point they turn on the alarm and just everything turns red and there's a beeping noise for like half an hour of gameplay and I hate it. <laughs> I don't think I got to that part in my uh, Coliseum stream playthrough, which I cannot wait to get back to doing that. Even though it's just the normal base game of Coliseum, not a hack thing. All the party Pokemon were healed. Sick. Alright, well, we're going to save and wrap up here for today, guys. Already up to 10 Shadow Pokemon. I don't remember... I think Lone Wolf actually told me because he looked at the change logs and I didn't. Uh, I don't remember how many Shadow Pokemon are in the game, but I am going to catch them all. Yeah, their Shadow Gauge is still going down, like, abnormally fast. But I don't think it's going down as fast as the others were the first time. I don't know, though. Trico seems to be suspiciously low already. But whatever. Sheer Force, Sturdy, Classic Ability. Does Bagon normally have Sheer Force? I gotta look that up. I don't remember. Bulldoze! That's so good! Yo! This is what I was looking for. Bulldoze have Koji on the field. Protect. Beautiful. Giga Drain is also a great move. Alright. Cool. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time for more Pokemon XG. And until then... Farewell.